Hi, I'm Christy, and I've been at Glory Church for about 45 years. I'm Shannon. I've been here several years since Christy and I got married. That was around 50 years ago. Um, Shannon and I got married in 2007, and by 2008, we realized that we needed some help. Um, I knew Shannon had anger issues, and I knew that he had pornography issues, but I thought he would change, or I would change him. Um, but the truth is, we both had baggage. I was a single mom with a three-year-old daughter. I was insecure, and I could be controlling at times, to hear Shannon say it. Um, but his anger was over the top. Um, it was something all the time. Like I could not do anything right. Um, a lot of verbal abuse, um, cussing and fussing and um, just getting mad about anything and everything. Um, I really, I tried hard to please him and to make him happy, but it just did not work. And um, at that time, my daughter was three. And so I could hide a lot of stuff from her pretty easily um, but nonetheless um, it was not a good time for us it was very hard all right so I'm going to go back just a little bit further than Christy did to give some context uh, I had been single my entire life until we got married when we got married uh, I was 31 uh, never had been married had essentially for the most part lived on my own since I was around 20 and uh, was very set in my ways. Uh, I was not, you know, I would say that I was, uh, I knew Jesus, who he was. Grew up in church. My parents did the best they could do to raise me correctly, but I uh, didn't really have a relationship with the Lord. And uh, I was very self-reliant. I had uh, been wounded a couple times in my, once in my childhood and once in uh my late adolescence, early adult life, um, wounded emotionally, and um, that had uh, gauged how I viewed women and how I viewed marriage, and uh, I saw it through a an optic that was not godly at all. And um, and I got into law enforcement at a very young age, and in that job, you're taught a lot of good things and a lot of bad things and you see a lot of good things and a lot of bad things and uh, I, one thing that I was taught early on was about survival and it was about being very reliant on your own to survive and to win in conflict and because I had been angry since I was about eight years old I was uh, very good at operating in anger and at uh, relying on that anger to get me through a conflict and to win. And uh, it was a cycle that had um, grown significantly before she and Allie even came into the picture uh, when I was 31. I had been falling back on that for many, many years to get me through any kind of dispute or conflict. And with the pornography issue, um, I didn't agree with it at all. I I was totally against it, but the enemy would make me feel like at times that if I did not agree with it or participate in it or um, whatever, that um, Shannon would find somebody else that would. And um, so I finally set a boundary with that. And once I set that boundary, then I started to really try to control him as far as um, you know, not want him to do it and that sort of thing. It, we were just a big mess, weren't we? Mm -hmm. um, so we began counseling at Ebenezer Christian Counseling Center um, in 2008, which was a few months after we got married. And we had been there for about two years. And finally, they told us that there was no hope that we would have to go to this um, retreat, retreat center in North Carolina and it was for couples that were on the verge of divorce and that's the only thing that we could do to get past this and 
So he and I discussed it and we decided not to go. And ironically, um, things seemed to get a little better. And so for the next five years, the Lord really just placed people in our lives that we could seek godly wisdom from and, and talk to and kind of um, guide us and be there for us and love us. But really the ver verbal abuse got worse and the pornography continued to get worse. And so I wanted to read this. Um, this is my prayer journal from 2010 in September. As I write this tonight, my marriage isn't the greatest, I guess, and I pray that I would be a better wife every day. But as I studied tonight, I realized that rather than worrying all the time about Shannon, and if I make him happy, I need to worry more about the Lord. It seems that I never do anything right. I always strive, strive to. I know that if I honor, praise, and glorify the Lord and put my faith in Him, He will fix my marriage somehow. Thank you, Lord. And so <clears throat> I just tried my best to seek the Lord and to pray for Shannon. And um, it was just, um, I got to where I would not tell him things, um, even would lie just so I would not have to deal with his wrath. Um, he told me and Allie to leave. Um, he left. Sometimes he'd be gone for a day or two. Sometimes it'd be a week. Um, it, it was just toxic. And the vacations were horrible. Like every year when we go on vacation, we get so excited that it would just, something would happen and it would just be horrible. 